Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I have a diamond painting shaped package has come through the letterbox. They're quite good these. If they just come one at a time, then the postman seems to be able to switch them through the letterbox. Although that was a little bit fat at that side. But anyway, he did get it through. So it saves having to run down the stairs or be in when he comes, which is great. Yay, we like that idea. So let's get into this and have a look and see what we've got. Okay, it's quite a fat package. Oh, we have square drills. Oh, look, ooh, look at those colours. <gasps> wow, oh, ooh, like those. Yay. In squares. And they've got DMC codes on them as well. So that's even better. Okay. And we have, oops. Oh, an inventory sheet. Okay. We have a, a board glue painting. Okay. Have oh a toolkit with the good tweezers in and a pink squishy hox pink squishy hot pink squishy oh I do like my hot pink particularly on very dull days it is lovely to get something that is hot pink oh, wow okay we'll have a look that looks like a really good toolkit that is quite weighty I bet I'd add quite a bit to the uh, packaging for the price of the postage and everything with that weight in it. So I do think sometimes that's why they put the smaller kits in because, you know, they, they don't weigh very much, the little green boat and the pen and the wax. But that is quite a hefty weight to that one. So that's a good tool kit. OK, let's get into this one and let it relax a bit while we uh, have a look at the other bits. It looks like it's come round a foam roller. OK. Oops, oh, it's got that sellotape on it. Let me see if I can make a mess of this sellotape this time. <laughs> oh dear. Do you all sit there and think, will she, won't she, will she, won't she? <laughs> oh, look, I've just probably snipped the canvas now. Oh, I have, I've snipped the canvas a little bit. <gasps> Never mind. It will cover, look, cover over. Oh dear, I ought to use my craft knife, really. Okay, so let's get this horrid bit of sellotape off. Get that in the bin. And we'll let this relax out a little bit. So we have a little panda in a tree. Oh, look at a little panda. I have actually done this one before. Um, I've done it as a special drill. I think it was possibly last year. Um, I did it for our daughter's birthday card. And then I saw this one. Uh, I've used my coins on AliExpress and it was on special offer. And you know me, can't resist a bargain. And it would be so rude not to just, just get that little bargain. And it's from Momo Art, as you can tell at the top there. Get rid of the foam roller. We're back to our standard uh, 30 by 40, 35 colours. So it's one of the standard sort of Chinese um, canvases. It's quite a nice soft canvas actually. And I'll just peel these back so we can let it relax a little bit. Okay, oh, we've got a bit of a crease here. We've got a bit of a crease there. That's not good where that one's been. Possibly I've done that while I've taking it off the roller not sure but I just really liked the colours of this and because I did like the panda and um, when I did it as a special I thought yeah it would be quite pretty to do as a square and uh, to go on the wall because it is pretty I do like pinks you know I like pinks and it's one of the is it Japanese blossom trees it's probably a really uh, good name for them but yeah, we do just have, oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe it's flattened now. We'll have to have a look at that in a minute. But yeah, that's not um, a bad canvas. The edges are very, very wrinkled from being around that foam roller. But we're not diamond painting the edges, so I'm not too worried about that. Looks like a reasonable drill field. We have got the squares on it. So I am going to have to make sure that particularly on these white bits here, don't know if you can see there's like the very sort of grid lines on it 
and if you don't get your white drills covering over then you do end up with like black showing through and it makes your <laughs> picture look a bit dirty um, but it's pretty fairly standard fairly standard Ooh, I'm stuck to it it's very sticky <laughs> Uh, your key code, say 35 colours, is a mixture of your symbols and your letters. So, yeah, you do tend to get used to them, to be fair. Once you've done uh, a couple of them, you do tend to get used to the symbols and look out for them. And they do seem to be fairly standard. I know that the tick that I've done before and that funny little, like, um, game controller sh shape there tend to be the lighter colours um, so whether there is actually a chart that shows you what they are uh, for each one I don't know but certainly this factory does seem to use those symbols and we have got DMC codes which is really good as well okay let me just roll these back down flat okay see if I can get them and then we'll just lift the other edge up slightly Okay. Right, just flatten that down. Just keep feeling little bits on my desk. Just have to pick them up so that I don't end up with bits underneath. They never go back down straight. I always end up with a gap. Let's just see if I can get that. No, I'll have a play with it off camera. You don't want to see me playing about with bits of paper for three hours. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just lift this side and flatten that down. This is the easiest and quickest way, really, to flatten down one of these canvases. It's just literally to lift the paper up and let the paper relax and let it flatten down. And then just keep it nice and flat now once it's been unrolled. Don't re-roll them. It does need to be kept nice and flat. Okay. So let's just have a look. Yeah, you can see on the paper there, there's quite, can you see it just down there? There's quite a groove there. And I think, yeah, it has. It's caused a groove on the canvas. Oh, so you can just about make it out there. It's caused a groove on the canvas there. Let's just have another quick look. I don't know whether you'll be able to, to see it. See whether it's gone through onto the canvas. No, fortunately, by lifting it up and then putting it back down again, it does seem as though that has flattened out. But it's just something to keep an eye on. It's not disastrous when you get like bubbles and uh, creasing up on the double sided tape on top of your canvas. It just means if you don't sort of do something about it before you put your drills on, then your drills aren't going to sit flat and they won't butt up together, particularly with squares properly and they're likely to start lifting up and popping as it's called so it's just something to watch out for but you know you can you can rectify them but yeah fortunately it looks like i've got to that one in time okay so we have our inventory sheet which is nice and clear i don't like getting the inventory sheets just uh, just that little bit extra what did i pay for this one let me have a look this one I paid £3.33 with tax. I believe you get, depending on how many of the coins that you use on AliExpress, I think you get about three or four pounds off. I think £500, uh, £500, goodness, 500 coins um, is about three or four pounds that it then takes off the price of your canvas. Now you can get coupons and there are special offers all the time. I've never quite understood all the coupons on AliExpress, um, but yeah, there's always offers on. So whether I could have got this cheaper, I don't know, but to me, um, for the price I've paid for a 30 by 40 square canvas, I'm quite happy. And um, you know, it's nice condition. As I say, it's just the standard one that you do get from these companies. Let's just double check the size. They do normally come out at the usual size. So that one is you. Actually, it's not. It's a little bit less than 40. It's about 13, um, not quite 39. I know they do say allow a centimetre. 
so let's see what it is this way usually they are a little bit closer to the 30 by 40 than that yeah and that one's uh, 29 so we have lost a centimeter off each side but that's it is what it is it just gives you a little bit if you put in it in a 30 by 40 frame just gives you that little bit of room to put a board around it just to frame it that little bit more okay oh let's have a look at the drill the drill let's have a look at the tool kit first the drill kit oh dear i'm going drilling yay <laughs> Okay, so we've got our lovely, very sharp, heavy tweezers there, which are wonderful. If you saw my unboxings earlier on uh, in the week, you will have seen I got some hot pink glittery ones, and they're still my favourite. Yay! And now I have a hot pink squishy to go with them. Yay! And we have a four-placer, and oh, that one doesn't say on it what it is. Let's have a look my trusty card out with my sizing on and i believe that will be a 10 yay that's a 10 place it is it's getting a bit tatty now this i'm gonna have to uh, upgrade it i think i've had it uh, well over a year now and it's getting a bit dog-eared and tired but yeah that's just uh, if i didn't know what size something was i've just got these <laughs> i have everything written down i do try to be organized okay pop that in there uh, we've got two plates of wax which is like four of the little squares we've got a little white flat bottom boat and one of the larger boats they're quite good these um, if you've not got one of the other type of boats that you know you've got longer lines in this for doing uh, if you're doing multi-placing for picking your drills up but they've got quite a nice high side this one as well the thing I find with the smaller boats is that the sides aren't very wide you can see there and uh, yeah get a bit closer yeah and i do tend to shake my drills and they do tend to fly out of the tray and go everywhere <laughs> and then just your standard pen as i say so yeah that's a great toolkit like that like that okay let's have a look at these drills these look nice squares Oh, ooh, look at these colours. These are gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, look, let's have a look at all these pinks. We've got hot pink and pale pink and really pretty pink and lilac-y pink and a very pale pink. And that's like a salmon-y pink. And goodness, that's hardly there at all pink. <laughs> and ready pinks. And more pinks. Goodness me, look at this. And then that's sort of a, definitely a red. And another reddy pink. And wow, guess what colour this canvas is. And another pink. And another pink. And they do look as though they are nice colours. And let's just add a lovely lilac in there. Very girly colours. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, we've got another red there. Look as well. So, yeah, we've definitely got a lot of colour in this one. Be a nice happy painting to do. I like my happy colours and my happy paintings. Okay, and then we have browns and a rusty colour and a darker brown and a caramac chocolate colour and another brown and fawns and more fawny browns and stony colours and maroony colours. Oh, that one could really have in with the pinks and like a top colour and a chestnut brown and a darker brown okay so that's the browns i will check these off and make sure against the inventory sheet that i have got all the colours i need and um, once i'm off camera i won't do it on camera a couple of greys Ooh, that's going to be mostly the background look that's 2928 no it's not it's 939 <gasps> 2928 what's that number then Oh, that might be the amount of drills that they're in. I was going to say that's not the canvas number. No, the canvas number's on this little bag here. <laughs> Just on this little sticker. So, you know me and my numbers. I'm not good. Uh, that one's like a grey. Actually, that might be a bit greeny. And that's like a greeny brown colour. And then we have the good old 3865 and the B5200. So, a lot of nice colours in that one. A good display of colours, we like that. 
going to put this one inside here so that I can keep those. And we're going to use our trusty stickers. Rebecca of Four Kids, sorry, she's not Four Kids, Rebecca Add More Zest. Um, these are her free to download labels, or you can buy some pre cut ones. I, uh, as you can see, did actually print out a lot of my own, but I am finding the pre cut ones are a lot easier to use. So I'm trying to go through these and make myself use these to use them up. So we'll call this uh, Panda Pink Tree. Okay, Panda Pink Tree. Oh, I've lost that end there. And it's a 30 by 40 and it's a square. And I'm going to put that it's 35 colours because I like to know how many I've got. Just if I want to go through the box. Um, sometimes if I can't be bothered to get the canvas out and I'm just looking at my photographs to choose which one to do then I just look at how many colours it is and I just pick out one with a few more colours or a few less colours depends what I'm doing and this was from Momo and what do we say it costs £3.33 goodness me okay and the Canvas number is MT67989. MT67989. Okay. Some scissors. And we put one of these stickers on the canvas and one of these stickers on the bag. I know we've got the picture there to see it but I just uh, it keeps me in check of where it came from and what it is so we'll put that one on there and we'll put that one on there and that is then ready to go okay put that in the bin right so if you've got any questions if you want to leave them in the comments down below and if you've enjoyed seeing this unboxing with me if you can leave me a thumbs up it's always much appreciated just gives me that little bit of a boost with youtube and if you want to come back and see what i get up to next there's a subscribe button down in this corner and there's a little all notifications bell and if you click on that you'll be notified when any of my videos come up to youtube so thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now